Hi friends, come with me to Sada to learn a quick pole flow. This is a beginner, beginner two level flow. And if you've learned from me before, you know I love details. So get ready to kind of dive into some of these building blocks. Please, please be sure to do a full warm up before getting started with this tutorial today. All right, let's get into it. So here's a quick demo of what our flow looks like. Okay, so we're gonna talk about three basic moves. We have our leg wave, we have our hip dip or our hip swivel, and then finally we have our windmill. And before I begin, I wanna clarify. All of what I tell you, aside from the safety stuff, is gonna be preferential stuff. This is how I like to do it, it's how it's what feels good for me, and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna feel good for you or it's gonna be how you end up liking to do it once you learn it. So this right now is just data. This is gathering data and you take what feels good for you and you keep it and whatever doesn't feel good, you leave it where you found it, all right? Okay, let's start with our leg wave. So a lot of times, at least when I first started learning my leg waves, what I was seeing was something like this, yeah? We have a lot of rowing with this leg. And I started to notice that something that felt a little bit better for me was creating a little bit more of an elongated line, a little bit more fluidity, a little bit more seamlessness with my leg waves. So let's talk this through. How are we getting this seamlessness right here? Okay, so I want you to stand facing the pole. Your weight is gonna be on your back foot, the foot furthest from the audience. Yeah, um, you can lift your forward foot. You can keep both hands on the pole for support for now or you can take the hand closest to the audience, your forward hand off, okay? And I want you to be either up in releve or for practice purposes, you can lower the heel to the ground. We're just gonna start opening and closing. Like we're opening the page of a book, we're opening up our chest and our hips to face the audience and then closing it back towards the pole. Open and close. You can use the hand that's on the pole. You can get a little bit of a pull and a push, a pull, and a push, but we're just opening and we're closing. Now, try to bend this forward leg, the one that's close to the audience. Think about opening up that knee as well, like a clamshell, yes? So as we open up this page, we're also opening up the knee and then closing. Opening and then closing, yeah? Now's a good time if you're not already there to come up in releve, come up on those tippy toes, Again, both hands can be on the pole or one hand, whatever you feel comfortable with. Let's get a little bit of length in this leg that's closest to the audience in our forward leg. And let's continue with that. We're gonna open, you can still open up the knee, but leg will be straight or elongated and close. Open and close. So we have two more things to talk about. One is what's happening with our standing leg. We need to start to add a little bit of bend in here to kind of make this wave a little bit bigger, a little bit more dynamic. So this time as I open, I'm going to start to bend my standing leg and sit into it a little bit, yeah? And then as I close, I'm gonna straighten. I open, I bend my standing leg. I can sit my butt back into it a little bit and close, open and close, bend, straighten. And then lastly, and this may already be starting to happen in your body as you're doing this, we're gonna add a little bit of movement in the torso region. So from our hips up to our shoulders, and that is a body wave. So a very, very basic overview of a body wave. We're gonna lead with our chin, tucking our chin to our chest, sending our head towards the pole, followed by our chest, our tummy, and then our hips, and then we reverse head, chest, tummy, and hips. So if you wanna just review that really quickly, we have head, chest, tummy, hips, head, chest, tummy, hips. And you can use the pull to pull and release. Pull and release. Now we could do a whole lesson on body waves. I just wanted to give you that little blip um, to work with for this next part. This is gonna be our last and final kind of cherry on the top with this body wave or this leg wave, I should say. So we're gonna add in that little bit of torso wave into this opening and this closing. Yes. So as I sit to the back, I open up, 
When I prepare to close, I'm gonna try to lead with my upper body. I'm gonna say my shoulders, kind of my head even, followed by my chest, my tummy, and my hips. Open and bend, open up that clam, open up the page, lead with my body wave as I close. So all of these things will be working at the same time to create this really seamless and fluid leg wave. Again, we can use the pull and a push to kind of facilitate this wave, working with the pole. Now again, you can have both hands on the pole, or if you want, you can take the other hand off and kind of play around with it as you move through these leg waves. Those are some really tiny details and building blocks that are gonna go into creating a really seamless looking leg wave. So review that, we're gonna go on to the next step where we have our hip swivel. So once we finish these leg waves, we're gonna head from there into a hip swivel and I'm gonna talk about this hip swivel or this hip dip separately and then we'll tack the two together. We're gonna be facing the pole, we're gonna be up in releve and we're gonna have our weight on our back foot just like we had with our leg wave. Both hands are gonna be on the pole about chest level, shoulder level, and you're gonna extend your forward leg, angle it towards the other side of the pole. We're gonna end up bending our standing leg so we can drop that forward foot to the floor. And then basically we need to switch our weight from this back leg over to this other leg, our back leg to our forward leg. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna make a swivel or we're gonna create a bit of an orbit with our butt and our hips, okay? So we're gonna shift our weight back, sit back into our back leg, the leg furthest from the audience. This is the leg we've had our weight on the whole time. And as we send our hips back, we'll continue in that orbit, sending it around, 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 shifting my weight into the other side. And then I'll stand up on that side and I can free my other leg, yes? Now I have a new back leg, a new forward leg. Let's talk about that one more time. Again, weight on the leg furthest from the audience, my back leg. I'm gonna lift my forward leg, bend my standing leg, drop my hip down, drop or plant that foot to the other side of the pole, sit my butt to the back so I'm tucking my hips as if I'm about to do a squat or just take a seat in a chair. And then I'm gonna continue in that orbit. I need to shift my weight from right now, my back leg, over to my other leg. Sitting my hips back and around and around and around until my weight is in my other leg. That leg bends and I stand up on that leg. So I'm going from one side of the pole over to the other, 180 degrees, okay? Let's throw those two together. So we have our leg wave and our dip turn or our hip swivel, yeah? So we start standing next to the pole. We're facing the pole. Our weight's gonna be on the leg furthest from the audience. Let's start going with our leg wave. Again, one hand on the pole or two. We're opening and we're closing. Yes, we open and we close. You can take as many of these as you'd like. Whenever you're ready to go onto your hip swivel, the next time you close, you pull it in towards the pole, we're gonna lift this forward leg. You're gonna bend your standing leg, plant that foot to the other side of the pole, sit the butt to the back, take that orbit all the way to the other leg and stand, we've switched feet. Okay, so try that as many times as you need to. And then let's move on to this windmill. This is gonna be the last step in our flow here. And again, I wanna talk about it separately and then we'll add this all together to make our complete flow. So to talk about our windmill, we need a very important grip and that is our stronghold grip. So we're gonna stand next to the pole. Now for the rest of this flow, you may hear me refer to inside and outside. So quick review of that. When I'm standing next to the pole, the leg, the hand, the arm, et cetera, that's closest to the pole, these are all gonna be my inside leg, inside hand, inside body parts, yeah? The leg, the hand, et cetera, that's furthest from the pole, are gonna be my outside, all right? So like I mentioned, we're standing next to the pole. Our inside hand, we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna wrap that inside bicep around the pole, okay? A good point of reference here, your hand should land about cheek level or face level. Now I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see this here. This bicep right here is pressing into the pole. I am pressing my elbow in towards my torso, okay? Here's a good moment to look down and check in with your hips. You're gonna walk your feet forward. We wanna be at a diagonal with your hips in front of the pole and the shoulder kind of on the other side. So we find a diagonal, yes? 
Our outside hand is gonna climb up just above. And your arm, this outside arm, should really be across your face. A lot of people tend to open up that elbow to try to see through the window. You don't need to see through the window here. You can close. The outside arm will end up across the face. And this is gonna be your stronghold grip. In this stronghold position, let's think about driving the pole into the ground, yeah? And see if you can get a little bit of lift there. Drive the pole into the ground and I lift my heels up. Yes. And if that feels comfortable, a next step would be drive that pole into the ground, lift those heels off the ground, and then take a big exhale and drive those hips up towards the chest. So this would be a good thing to practice, these knee tucks. A few times, see if you're comfortable with it. Try it on both sides. And if it feels good, then we can move on to this windmill. So from our stronghold grip, we find this inside bicep wrap around the pole. Our outside hand is just above. We're at our diagonal. We walk those hips in front of the pole. Yes, and again, we're thinking about driving that pole into the ground, pulling up through the hands, squeezing the bicep around the pole. That's there to help us. This is a contact point that will help us so that we're relying on a little bit more than just raw strength in our hands, which takes a little bit of time to build up. All that being said, <laughs> let's get to the legs. So in our windmill, we're going to send our legs over from this side of the pole over to the other side of the pole, leading with our inside leg. My inside leg will kick across, up and over and land to the other side of the pole. My outside leg is just following it, okay? So it will look like this. Okay, we find our stronghold grip. We drive the pole into the ground. I send my inside leg across, up and over. My outside leg follows. I land to the other side of the pole. Now let's rewind a little bit. I wanna go from our hip swivel or our hip dip into this windmill so we can talk about a little transition and then we will have all the ingredients and we can put this all together. Facing the pole, both hands on the pole. We're up in releve and my weight is on my back foot. Now for the purposes of this flow, we need to pay attention to which hand is the highest, which hand is the lowest in this hip dip or this hip swivel. I'd like the hand closest to the audience to be your lower hand, the hand furthest from the audience to be your higher one. So we're gonna plant that forward foot to the other side of the pole. We're gonna take our hip swivel. We shift our weight to our new leg and we land to the other side of the pole. Check in with your hands here. You're gonna find now that your hands have switched the hand furthest from the audience is the lower one. The hand closest to the audience is the higher one. That's just where we want it. I want us to find our way into our stronghold grip. So keep your weight on your back leg and just pivot, 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 rotating your chest as if you're going to face away from the pole and wrap that inside bicep around the pole. You can plant your other foot on the floor for support. We'll land right here in our stronghold grip. This should feel familiar. Let's try that one more time. We're here. We're gonna start with the hand closest to the audience as our lower hand. Hand furthest from the audience as our higher hand. We take our hip swivel, shift our weight onto our new leg. Now our hands have switched. Hand furthest from the audience is our lower hand. I'm going to pivot on my standing leg, wrap that inside bicep around the pole, and I can plant my legs, I can adjust my feet if I'd like to land with my feet a little bit wider than my hips, and I have found my stronghold grip. And from here, driving that pole into the ground, I can take my windmill. Inside leg leading, up and over to the other side of the pole. Okay, so review all of that. We have all the ingredients now, let's put this all together. Let's do a little bit of a run through together. So we're starting with our leg wave. Now remember, quick little note, as we go from our leg wave, whether we have one hand on or two, as we head into our hip dip, let's make sure this forward hand is the lower of the two. That's gonna set us up for success as we head through the rest of our flow. Just a little note. From our leg wave, we open and we close. Open and close. You can take as many as you'd like. And when we're ready to go to our hip dip, we extend this forward leg, angle it towards the other side of the pole, bend our standing leg. We plant that forward foot down, sit the hips back, swivel it around, 
Check in with your hands here. Your back hand should be your lower hand. I'm gonna pivot, 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 wrap this inside bicep around the pole. I find my stronghold grip and I'm gonna go right into my windmill leading with my inside leg. Up and over, landing to the other side of the pole. So a little bit faster, that will look like this. Just so you have a run through to watch. We're here. We take our leg waves, as many as you'd like. And when you're ready, we take our hip swivel, wrapping the bicep around the pole. We find our stronghold grip, windmill up and over to the other side of the pole.